Hello guys, this is Mike from programming.org. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about making our own packages. And I'm going to create a class right here in this Advanced 19 Packages Java project. And under Source folder, I'm going to say Create New Class. And I'm just going to say, just call it App and have a main method in there. Okay. And there's not really going to be much coding in this video, but I'm going to show you pretty much a file hierarchy. If you notice, this creates a default package right here, which is kind of like the root package for this project. Well, if you look in your file, file folder, the bin contains the .class files while the source folder contains the .java files. So if you go in here, it just says app. It doesn't say default package. So let's create a package. And the way we do this is just go into the project folder and say new package. And what we can call this is names. Doesn't matter right now and we can create a class within this and we'll just say just pretend we have mic objects it doesn't make sense but anyways we have a mic object right here and it's under the names package and now if you look in your root directory there's the names folder and you click in there and then there goes the mic java class and notice at the top it says package and it's in names and I wish I would have gave a better example on this but it'll serve its purpose and if we go back to app and we wanted to instantiate a new mic object watch what happens well it doesn't recognize it, it's not in the same package uh, folder but what we can do is now we can import it just like we've been importing scanners and array lists and anything else that we've had to import those have been Java packages that are, come with the Java development kit so now we have the ability to make our own package if we wanted if we wanted to write a big section of code that we wanted to redistribute or you know reuse later on we put that in a package and then we can import the files that we've created ourselves so that's pretty cool and but by convention when you create some type of package that you need to that you're gonna let other people use this is I'll show you how you type it out there is kinda a uniform way of doing this and you start off with like if you have a website or something like .com or .org or .edu, you start off with that, and then you go to your website name, and then you go to pretty much the subject of whatever it is. So if I was making a package, and I wanted to make a package that handled hockey players, and I had a bunch of classes within that folder or that package that had hockey stats or uh, you know defined hockey players and you know, had the all the classes involved with that. I would want to name my package something along the lines of org dot make programming dot hockey, and you want all of them to be lowercase and no spaces, and it'll be separated by dots. And when we open up my file, you're going to notice that these dots are pretty much similar to backslashes because I'm going to be able to click on the org file and that will bring me into a programming file which will bring me into the hockey file which would have all of my Java classes available. But I'm not going to create the Java classes for this tutorial. I'm just showing you the basic idea of how it works and I'll just pretend to make two classes real quick. Um, season and uh, let's just say teams. Okay, so every one of these has this package org dot programming dot hockey, and so when you see any type of package that doesn't start with Java, 
you're usually going to see com, C-O-M, dot something. But in my case, my website is a .org website. So right now in my packages Java project, I have this package right here. And if I wanted to write in my app, I need to create a team. Team, let's see, caps equals new team. Oh, it was teams. Sorry, I misspelled that. So now we can go over here and we can import that package. So that is how you can get, and, and notice that it also it says org.mcprogramming.hockey.teams. So this right here will specify exactly which Java class you're referring to. And this is the same as if, let's create a scanner object down here. Scanner scan equals new scanner. And we'll just put in keyboard system.in. And let's import this real quick. So if you notice, it says import java.util.scanner. So that's pretty much what we're doing right now. And the cool thing is, is if we, what was the other one? Season. Let's uh, create a new season object. Season, season equals new season. And we imported this. Well, since we have two from the org.mcprogramming.hockey package, what we could do is get rid of that and do the star right there. And that imports all classes from this package. So that is how, if you wanted to make a specific package that you wanted to bring along with you, share it with others, and usually you would put it into like a jar file and share it online with people or your friends or whatever but if you wanted reusable code that's how you do it and let me show you what the it looks like within this file folder now let me go back and source so now we have org and that would have mcprogramming that would have hockey and then there we go so those dots are kind of like slashes so the same thing with like java the, then you go into the util package and then you go into that scanner class so that's how you can write your own packages